that's not exciting. It's Pong. Pong was out in the 70s. Yeah, but guess what? A month from now, two months from now, you're going to be able to make games that were like in the 80s. And and things things happen so fast that all of a sudden it's like, hey, I want to play this adventure game. And it's like you're making the world of Warcraft in five seconds. James and Dave here with Making Money with AI. I am so excited because we've been making predictions about the future. We're not Nostradamus, but what we're saying in our dreams of what we think could happen with AI is starting to happen already. Not five years from now, not 10 years from now. It's starting now. you got to check this out. So check what we have here today. So one thing I've been saying that I feel like is going to happen and already kind of is happening with GPTs is the ability for you to converse with an AI to have something created. Dave and I have all kinds of great ideas. I'm sure you have had many great ideas about things that you wanted to get done. Maybe you had the idea for Uber before everybody else, but did you execute on that? No, you didn't. Someone else did. But you probably have ideas of, man, what if there was a software for this? What if there was something for that? Well, look at look at this here. It says, make it real. AI prototype wows developers by turning drawings into working software. So think about this. This is existing right now where you can draw something and say, wow, I wish I had something that worked this way. And the AI is smart enough to build it. So, so eventually, Dave, I mean, we're, all, we're almost already right there. GPTs have been blowing my mind, but we're almost right there where we're going to be able to say, hey, real quick, make me this software here. I want it to do this. I want it to download that. I want it to email this. I want you to do that. 30 seconds later, you have a software that you could sell. This is where we're going right now. Yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. Like, as you can see here, this is kind of a version of a Pong game as I'm reading through this. Uh, a shot of TL Draws, Make It Real in Action, provided by Ashion X. Okay, TL Draws, super fun. I iterated through 10 builds today, and it cost me 90 cents using GPT-4. This guy built a software, and it cost 90 cents. Can you imagine what it would cost to have a software developer? And this was a version of the Pong game, which a lot of people know, right? But by just drawing something and then telling it what you want and it builds it for you. I mean, I think software developers are going to kind of be either out of business or they're going to be looking for AI jobs uh, really, really soon because this is completely disrupting the software game. And then uh, this designer says, I think I need to go lie down because he was starting to see that this disruption happening and what's going to happen in the future. Yeah, I mean, we're getting to see the building blocks of things as they happen. So in other words, we've seen things, you know, when I was a kid in the 80s and, and how things were and how they are now. But, you know, I still play video games with my kids from the 80s and things have changed in 40 years where, yeah, things are crazy right now with, let's say, a PS5 compared to video games. But we're seeing almost, a on this channel and in our lives in real time, the building blocks starting to happen. So look yep. at where we were six months ago with pictures. We were so excited that certain tools, Midjourney, Dali, amongst others, could make photos. And these photos at first were cool, but now they're super realistic. Now, yeah. then we were like, okay, what's going to happen is they're going to be able to make little short videos. So they're doing things where they're making these little pretty realistic four or five second videos. And it's like, we already see, we already know where it's going to go. Everyone is kind of already there that it's like, it's not a dream to say, it's not going to take too long where all of a sudden you're going to put in, hey, make me this uh, movie about this guy that does this, blah, 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 make it funny. And then we can sit back and it's like our own personal Netflix. And it, yeah. and it makes that movie for us <laughs> in five seconds. Well, that's what's happening with software right now. We're exactly. already seeing the proliferation of GPTs. We're already seeing in this case where the guy was able to make a Pong game in a matter of you know a few few seconds, basically. And you might be saying, well, that's not exciting. It's Pong. Pong was out in the 70s. Yeah, but guess what? A month from now, two months from now, you're going to be able to make games that were like in the 80s. And, and things things happen so fast that all of a sudden it's like, hey, I want to play this adventure game. And it's like you're making the world of rap Warcraft in five seconds. And see, that's the thing. When you you had made a great, a great point, Dave, when you talked about like basically the, the commoditization. Programmers are smart people. They're talented people. It could take you eight years and all kinds of experience to be able to program stuff. But now more and more and more, a guy like me, a guy a guy or girl that's watching our channel could say, just make me this software. It stinks that that's happening for the programmer side. But now the real value is going to be on the thinkers, the people that have those ideas. In the past, exactly. they were they were kind of handcuffed because they didn't have the, 
necessarily the technical tools or the money to make this stuff. Now you could just use your brain. And that's the people that have the fun, cool ideas. They're the ones that are going to get rich because all the tech is commoditized now. Yeah, that's amazing. When all the tech is commoditized, he who has the best idea wins, right? That's going to be it. Like it used to be he who has the gold wins, but now it's he who has the best idea wins. And that's incredible. That's incredible just to see where things are going. I think part of the fun of this channel, James, is that we both are futurists. We love to look into the future. We love to see what's coming down the road. And if all of you like that idea of looking down the road and seeing what's in the future, you're going to love our AI newsletter. It's completely free. You can subscribe to it down in the link down below. And uh, that'll keep you up to date on all the latest videos because we're always looking on the cutting edge, the bleeding edge of technology as it relates to AI. And specifically, we talk about ways to make money with AI. So be sure to get your free newsletter. It's down below. We'll see you next time on Making Money with AI.